guys, ETJ Music here. Today we're going to be starting a completely new project, so I'm going to be walking you guys through the steps that I do to start something new. I do have other pieces that I'll go back and work on at some point, but right now we're just going to start something new and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm using Sibelius 7.5. I know that there are more advanced versions, but uh, this works for me, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start something new by clicking the new, and it's going to bring me to a scene where I want to do something. So first I have to figure out what I would like to create. They give me a whole bunch of options here, no category, band, chamber groups, choral and song, handbells, jazz, Latin, marching band, percussion, orchestral, and then of course lead sheet, which I've been doing a lot. I think what I'm going to do is maybe, let's start with piano. Don't have any sound yet, but uh, let's see. What time signature do we want to do? Let's do 3-4. I'm always a big fan of 3-4. Uh, we're going to have a pickup bar with a quarter note length. And I'm thinking, I was like D minor. Actually, what was I thinking about the other? Oh yes, D minor. Okay, we're going to go to what's called minor flat keys. It's really the same thing, they just categorize it. Minor flat keys, and we are going to call this D minor musings. Very simple title, D minor musings, put myself as the composer and songwriter. And then it is copyright me. Well, I'll add the copyright in just a minute. I'll borrow it from one of my other things. All right. We're not gonna go through this process every time we start something new, but I just wanted to show you guys this is how I do it. I've got all that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. Pull that in and over so you guys can see. And I'm gonna exit that. I'm gonna drag my keypad off to the side. And I also need in my layout, uh, not my layout, my view. I need my transport. And I like having the mixer out as well. So those are on a different screen. Um, just so that I can see what I'm doing. All right, we connected. I'm just gonna start with a very, very simple um, chord structure. We're gonna go D minor to F major to C major to a B flat major to G minor, and then back to D. So that's gonna take us through the one chord, the three chord, the seven chord, the six chord, the four chord, the one chord, and that's a very pop music type of structure. So next is to play around with some ideas. Um, let's see, I'll put this in three, four, oh, it says Allegretto, we're just gonna take that out. All right, so I'm gonna save this really quickly. It goes in my 2021 20, folder. All right, so let's play around with some ideas. It's a bit long. You know, I'm thinking I might just cut up G minor and just have a uh, jump from the C, uh, from the B flat to the D. Let's see how that sounds. All right, I think that sounds good. Time to input it. Uh, let's see. We're just. All right, I don't know if I'm trying to tell a story yet, but get something that sounds good. 
So it's one and two and, and you know, I had added a, this here, but I'm gonna get rid of that. Do that there. Okay, take this whole thing and, aha, there we go. I ended up deleting what I had before. It's gonna be in four, four now, cause that's how the chips fly. Okay, so let's see, one and two and one and two and so in the left hand we have that one. We're gonna start this off with being an eighth note. One and two and so it's gonna be every half a measure. One and two and so that was the F and the G and then we're going to the C. One and two and F and two and C and then hmm. Let's play it just for a sec. Okay, so that actually works really well because we start with F, G, and then we move down um, through the notes. And two, and, and then uh, if we add, let's see, so I'm down here. I forgot to turn that off. You know what? Let me just add the left hand now while I am thinking about it. We have two beats for each one, so one, two. Um, you know what? Let me change this and stick it in the clef of treble. There we go. Cleaner to read. Okay. And we've got F, C, B flat. And then we're going to just repeat all of that. Get rid of this guy. Alrighty. Oh, for some reason it's playing over here at 100, despite the fact that here, I gotta get rid of this and start again for the metronome mark. Okay. This equals, uh, let's say 80 again. All right, that looks better. It's the correct font. See, now that's too slow. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and add another keyboard part, uh, but delete from score only in the treble clef. Now, this is obviously going to be an ensemble work, not something that one person can play by themselves. Okay, so this is our backing thing. I want to put in mezzo piano. And then when we get over here, and you know what? I want to add in a bass cello because that would be really cool. I just kind of hear it in my head as a bass cello. So we come down to strings. We're going to add a, not a, a bass cello, just a regular cello. We're eventually gonna come back and add some percussion because I can already hear how I want it to sound, but for now, just doing the acoustic instruments. The, oh, this is like really huge, so. Let me take this. We always justify it at like 95. And uh, we're gonna do this and turn the page size down to like five. Okay, that way I could fit way more on one page, yay. All right, it's just easier, I can see what I'm doing. Okay. And then this part is not gonna be mezzo piano anymore, it's just gonna be straight up piano. All right, so then we're just gonna try and get some. Top layer added, let's give it a listen. that's sounding pretty swell. Now it's time to throw in some other instruments. What I could do is just throw in the 
cello with the same bass notes. So a D, an F, a C, a B flat, and it's gonna sound great, but I want to be a little bit more inventive than that. So I'm gonna change up the rhythm, add in some syncopation. Here's what we got. <laughs> Time to take off the single layer and put them all together. Sounding really good, but I'm gonna have to double that in the bass because it's just not coming out strongly enough. I love it, but let's pump it up. I'm liking that. Okay, I gotta mess with some dynamics. Now I've gone ahead and added a space for percussion because I'm gonna put that in. I added some dynamics and as you can see, there is a lot of empty space on the screen. Fortunately, Sibelius has a feature that lets you hide those staves. So we're gonna go over here to layout. We're gonna select all of this. We're gonna hit hide empty staves. So bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna do the same thing here. So I'm just gonna hit enter to force this onto its own line. And then we're gonna do the same thing, hide empty staves. And yes, that does mean we are having four measures per line at this first section, but um, actually I'm gonna increase the document size a little bit because it's a little small. Okay. Um, but then that means it's going to be a lot cleaner once we add in these other sections. Hang on. Just realized I do need to throw something in here. Where is my. Why did I not see what my. Aha, here we go. There we go. So I've got drums, bass. I need to hide all of this. Okay, so I am still having this open because this is where I'm gonna add some of my percussion. Let's test it out. I think we need some accents. Um, so let me do that, throw an accent on all of this, and then what I'm going to do is amp the volume, we're going to jump to, no, I'm going to make this mezzo forte, uh, sorry, mezzo piano to start, and then we're going to switch to mezzo forte because all the other layers are overwhelming it. All right, let's take it from the beginning. That would be a really great place to throw in a drum break of some kind. We're gonna stop there for right now and come back and work on this later. You may have observed that I actually ended up uh, changing the title of this. It is now called Woodland Tower because I can envision the you're walking through the woods and you see a beautiful sunlight kind of sparkling through an old ruined tower. So that's the feel of this. We're gonna go work on it some more next time, but for now, this is where we sign off.